hi welcome back so in this video I'll show you how to install Visual Studio Code one of the popular code editor software uh, available in the market so you can also install any other editors but uh, this is from Microsoft and it is free to download then I will show you how to install node and npm npm stands for node package manager so angular framework is built on node.js and we need npm to install different packages uh, during our uh, development so i'll show you how to install and configure node in, uh, in your computer next i'll be showing how to install angular cli in the node terminal using node terminal inside visual studio code so then we will create a first angular app which is a basic app then finally it's important always to create a backup and if it is a huge project we need version controlling and uh, uh, source code management uh, softwares one of the popular of among it is github nowadays and i'll show you how to create a basic repository in this video and further moving on uh, uh, I will show you uh, in-depth um, concepts of github so in this video I'll show you how to create a basic repository in github using git desktop let's see how to install visual studio code so go to this link this link will be in the description below inside this link you can find different version of software according to your computer for windows download 64 or 32 bit accordingly once you download and install the visual studio code you can open and see something like this so moving on we will install uh, node and npm to download node.js simply follow the link in the description so in this page you can see there are two versions of node.js one is lts which is long term supported version and one is current release uh, version so it is recommended for most users to download LTS because it is a stable version of Node.js. So by clicking it, install the uh, download the Node.js and I've already done it. So during installation, you can see the Node.js is installed in this Node.js folder in program files. So in the next step, you can see the NPM package manager is also a part of this installation. So simply install uh, by clicking next. So I have already uh, downloaded and installed Node.js in my machine. So I will simply cancel this installation. And one more thing you need to make sure after the download. So go to the environment variables in your uh, system and there will be a variable uh, path. So it will be automatically done by the installer but to make sure you have to check it otherwise no terminal will not work so you can see here there is a path specified for uh, the npm that is c administrate uh, users administrator app data roaming and then npm there will there should be one more path in the system variables there you must see the path for node.js specified so these two should be there in the uh, en uh, environment variables and make sure it is there so after this you can run node.js in the terminal of visual studio code and install angular cli to install angular cli open the visual studio code and you can see the terminal here and click new terminal so in the terminal type npm install minus g this g represents that angular cli will be installed globally then type at angular cli at latest I'm writing this latest 
so that the latest version of the Angular CLI will get installed. Hit enter and wait for the terminal to install Angular CLI in your system. So once the CLI is installed in the computer, you can see here that it, it has added 84 packages and few other information. So Angular CLI, CLI basically means command line interface which gives various commands to manipulate Angular code in, the, in your system. So now you can use uh, various Angular commands to create projects and create and manipulate it. So now I'm going to create an Angular project using Angular CLI. So for, for that type this command in the Angular CLI terminal engine new and the project name. So I'll give the name to the project as first app. When you hit enter typing this command the terminal will ask you a few questions. So the first question will be like would you like to add angular routing? It is always yes here. I will explain what is routing later later uh, in the in the course. So the next question will be which style sheet format would you like to use? So I'll be using CSS you can select with various style sheet formats. So now you can see that uh, Angular is creating its first project. So once the project is created and initialized, you can just open it. So he you here you can see the project is installed in C users administrator by the name first app. So to open it, simply go to file, then open folder. Here you can go to C and users, the administrator. Then you can here see there is a folder called first app simply open the folder so here you can see the first angular app created by angular cli so you can just ignore this e2e folder this is for end to end testing and these are the node modules we installed using uh, angular cli so only thing we have to care about is the source folder inside there's a folder called app and there is a component.ts file by the name app so we can just compile this again using the terminal Here you can just type ng serve. So this project will be compiled. So initially we have only one component. Angular is made up of components. I'll be explaining in uh, later courses. So this component has an HTML file where you can see there is a h1 tag which says welcome to title and this title is string interpolated I will explain this term also string interpolation and the same component app component have a variable named title so this is initialized with first app string so when we serve this when we compile this we can open and we can in real, real time see the compilation compiled code in most 4200 port so I'll be showing you the first compiled uh, 
a project in Chrome now. So once the Angular serves this project, you can see here that it is saying that you can open the browser at localhost 4200 where you can see this project in real time. So I'll just open the Chrome browser and paste this link and hit enter. So here you can see this is the code which is already written in the project. This comes by default. So this is what it was written in uh, HTML file. You can see here that if I change this title variable and save it, once you save it, it, it recompiles again automatically and serves it on the browser. Now it has been compiled successfully. Now if you go and see here that it is showing our string. Now we have created our first app. So let's put this project in GitHub. GitHub is a cloud-based version control and source code management website. So to put your project in GitHub, you need an account. I have already created an account and I have logged in. So here you can see I have all these repositories already. So there are two ways to put your project into GitHub cloud. So one is git bash. It is a way where you, you type commands from the terminal and you put the code. It is not uh, that convenient at this point of time. So there is another way git dex github desktop. So you can download uh, the software in this link. So this is in the description below. So after downloading, just open the GitHub desktop. You can see this screen. So first thing you have to do is uh, go to file, click options. Here you can see there is a sign in um, option. So sign in with the same account uh, which you created with uh, github.com. So I will just log in now. So now if we, add, if we want to add our rep, uh, project into the new repository, you can select add local repository and choose the path here. Our uh, uh, app is in first app folder, select the folder and add repository. Once you select add repository, locally your repository is created and you can see here changes so it is changing it is saying that uh, you have changed a line of code here it is also showing that uh, you have changed title is equal to first app into another string that we have done so what we have to do now is we every time when you uh, want to push the changes to online cloud you need to uh, give a comment here so I will give adding first code change then I can commit to the master so so now the code has been con uh, committed to the master master branch but it's it is still not in the online uh, cloud you can see I will if I refresh here there is no new uh, repositories listed here. So what I have to do now is I have to publish repository to GitHub. So there is a logic behind why we do this, why there is a, a two step uh, process. What is committing to master? I'll put all these things in, uh, in a separate video soon. So now what we have to do is publish repository with the name a first app the same name 
okay we can we cannot add this uh, privately because you need to upgrade your um, github access so uh, this uh, repository all the repo repositories initially uh, will be public so you can al also go into my repository and see my codes i will also put the uh, github uh, repositories link uh, in the description you can uh, little uh, little uh, small small projects on angular in my github account so this should not be private at this point of time you can click publish repository you can see the progress here now it is done so if I now go and uh, refresh the online website you can see here there is a repository added if I go inside you can see the code whatever we had written here is stored here so it is a good practice uh, every time when you uh, finalize your code you push it to the github repository so that it is a kind of backup and in a huge project there are there will be creating versions of uh, softwares they will test the first version then move it to the master there are different branches here i can ca create uh, different branches so i will teach all this in uh, upcoming videos so thank you for watching and um, if you get any doubts please put it in the comments so i'll be helping you as soon as possible thank you for watching and please subscribe for upcoming tutorial videos on angular we will start with uh, all the basics and we'll create a, uh, a separate project uh, tutorial project uh, in this uh, series of tutorials thank you once again